Kawasaki pulled the KLX250 out of the mothballs, updated it and released back into the domestic market for 2018. This comes on the heels of a three-year break, over which the KLX250 became kind of like the Loch Ness Monster, much discussed but rarely seen. Among the improvements are updated looks, revised suspension components and electronic fuel injection that replaces the old Ken carb from the previous generation. So, better looks, better ride and better performance in a market that hasn't been glutted with KLX250 models for a few years. It looks like it could be a grand slam for Koi here, but we won't know for sure until the spring sales numbers roll in. So meanwhile, I'm going to take a good first look at the new KLX250S and see how it stacks up against the now entrenched competition. An angular headlight housing protects the Cyclops beam with a pair of standoff turn signals set wide enough to meet US lighting regulations for street legal use. A vestigial fly screen provides some protection for the fully digital instrument cluster but little else, and since there's no windshield either, no matter what kind of weather you have, you're going to get all of it. Moving aft, a tall fuel tank dominates the upper lines ahead of a steep drop to the bench seat. There's a grab strap at the intended break between the riders and passengers area and a slight rise up the subframe to the rear of the seat, but otherwise the rider is free to shift weight fore and aft on the seat for technical work. Well, all the way back to the rear fender mounted.